Hello everybody, so this is a video I'm going to do, uh, again, I feel a little awkward, this is going to be me printing, um, so I realized that if I put music on YouTube, um, it's probably going to get shut off, because, you know, so I figure I'm going to feature bands in the background, because I like music is my lifeblood. Um, so, first band I'm featuring is, uh, Low Flesh, I did the album art, they fucking rule, you should go listen to them. So, this is what we got, this is my table, this is my messy little station, because I'm a messy guy, I like to stay messy. This is the I Love Pimples print. You know, let's just give you a tour. So we got, this is where I'm printing. Blah, blah, blah. These are my drums. Because that fucking rules. It's fucking freezing out here. That's all my wood, no insulation. You know what I mean? Out here, no heat, but I wouldn't have it any other fucking way. So, I'm going to show you how to print one for now. This is my ink. I use the Gambling Relief Black, Portland Intense Black, because I love Portland, Oregon, and Portland, Maine. Shout out. So, you don't want to gouge the ink. You gotta just take it out all smooth and nice like that. Look, that's, that's a nice, like, blob right there. You don't want to eat it. There's a funny story. Uh, my dad once ate for making ink ones. When I was living in my parents with in college because uh, he thought it was brownies. He likes to sleep eat and I mixed up a batch of brown and uh, I was terrified. Luckily, you know, he was fine. So this is my roller. I wish I had bigger rollers, but you know, that's a lot of fucking money. So I just roll out the ink. Get it good. I like to get it all. I print by hand, so I like to get it all sticky sounding stuff. You hear that hiss, the, you know, that's a good sound for me. So, shout out also to, you can't really see because I've used this so much, the Hartford Art School Inky Finger Society. That's uh, where I went to school. I fucking love those people. Jenny Friedman, Jim Lee. John Willis, Scott McClovich, Fred Willis, you go check them all out because they're all fucking amazing artists. I wouldn't be here without them. So, we got the ink out, very inky, because I'm an inky guy, you know. So I like to do, here's my block, you know, you just get it on the block. No pressure, no stress, get it on the block. You know, go for another one. Turn it. I like to turn it four times and get to the last one. You can already hear that hiss on the block. Because this is a small print. So it inks up real quick. A lot of my prints are... God, I got one that's three feet by five foot. That's a pain in the fucking ass to print by hand. But if you didn't struggle making it, did you really fucking make it? I don't know. So let's go. Another turn. That was a good song. How about you check out that band, Low Fresh? I mean, I could be a fucking game show host or something right here, you know? I mean, I have my shirt on again. I'm sorry. This is for Kayla, uh, my niece, uh, Grace, my niece, who I love very much. Anthony, my nephew, and no, my nephew. All oh, close your eyes right now, just so I give a little shout out. So you know, Beth Potter on these sweet tattoos. All right, Let's get back to ink. It. So we're on the last run. So that was easy. So I'm gonna go over here where I keep a lot of my paper. This is not the regular paper 
you would use for something like this. A lot of times, you, if you're a beginner, you want to get a rice paper because it's real thin and real nice and real easy to print with. Um, but I am a psychopath, obviously, and you know I print. I ink so much and print I mean, so hard when I print that I like to uh, use heavier paper sometimes. I still love the rice paper, but you know what? It's fucking expensive, and you know what? I'm fucking broke. Let's go. Paper, I learned this from being a picture framer. Shout out to my boy Eric Benkiki for keeping me employed for 11 years of my life. So I pull the paper tight, I push it down, and my first thing I do is just my hand. Just want to get the corners. Make sure I'm mushing it all, you know, get it stuck to there. And then, let's go to my first tool for printing. This one is a roller. You would probably use it if you're doing spray adhesive stuff. And you roll that to get all the bubbles out. But I like to use it just to get a, my first thing. I press real hard, heat up, go up and down. I'm calm, you know, I'm not stressing out. You know? Yeah, you know. I mean, you don't know because I'm teaching it to you. And maybe you do know, and you're like, what the fuck is this idiot bambling about? I don't even know if bambling's a word. I like to make up words. I had a college professor, uh, I don't remember his name, um, and he used to make up words, and that was funny. Um, so, let's go on to the next thing. The next thing I like to use. I have a roller for rolling out dough. And this, I like to really get in there, you know? Get all the corners first, get the center, you know? Not worrying about detail too much on it. You just want like, you know, get it in. And excuse me for my heavy breathing while I do this. Um, I breathe weird, I breathe heavy. There's nothing wrong with me. Don't worry about that. Um, but uh, yeah. I just kind of, I mean, maybe I'm an ogre. I don't know. I've been called a Yeti. Uh, I don't know. I'm, I'm, I'm a creature who lives in the mountains. I like to think of myself as a mountain adventure, you know, but you know, let's, uh, let's get this going. All right. So that should be enough for this guy. And when I go to the, I'm not doing it right now. This is just one print. But when I print one of the big guys, I do this for fucking ever, but I don't want you guys to suffer through a super long video. You know, just yet, you know? So, um, let's go on to the next thing. So, this is a tool that my boy Scott McClovich uh, gifted me when I graduated college in 07, I think. Uh, it's basically just a piece of wood that he sanded down. It used to be attached to a doorknob, but when I was first learning how to print at home, I actually uh, fucked up and threw it and broke it but it still works perfectly you know that's one thing you don't want to do i've learned in my life um when i was a drinking man uh a drugging man i used to get very angry at this stuff and you know what if you get angry at it it's not gonna fucking work you gotta be calm you gotta be patient whatever that brings you i like to listen to heavy music because that makes me calm that makes me patient um a lot of people are different. They say, hey, Tim, you're fucking crazy. Because when you like to relax, you listen to fucking Disrupt. And I'm like, well, you're fucking crazy. Because when you like to relax, you listen to fucking, I don't know. I can't think of it. Taylor Swift, which isn't crazy because she's got some good songs. But you know, teach their own. So with this tool, I like to really get in there to the details. You know, really push a lot of pressure on them. Kind of a workout, good arm workout, you know, keeps you honest. You know, I really like to get in the middle. You know, just really give it a go there. Because I like, and you know, this is the way I do it. <clears throat> Maybe not the way you do it. <clears throat> I like very thick, dark blacks. A lot of contrast. Um, and a lot of people, you know, they want to see the wood grain and everything. Which I love the wood grain, don't get me wrong, but you know, I'm going to. So, 
this is, and you can check it too. Keep your hand on it, pull it up a little bit, and oh, baby, that's looking good, isn't it? So, at this point, we realize we got all the, the black down and everything, and it, it's looking good. So we just want to make sure we didn't miss any spots here. You know, so you can look into it. Now I can look real close and you can see where you burnished and where you haven't burnished. A lot of times I'll, I'll be concentrating so much on one spot that I'll like miss the eye. And then I pull it off and I realize I fucked up. You know, it's all a learning experience with this. When I graduated college, um, I realized that, I, well, right off the bat, I realized I couldn't afford a press because, you know, again, I'm fucking broke. Um, so I realized, what's the best press ever? This guy right here, or you, you're a good press, you know? We're all good presses, you know? You can print by hand. It was one of the first things I fell in love with woodcut. Uh, you know, when I first started doing it. And, um, um, I'm sorry, I, I, I lose my train of thought a lot. There's a lot of shit going up around here. Uh. Mostly all good, some bad, some weird. Um, you know, a lot of stuff, you know, aliens, like where the fuck do we come from? Why the fuck are we here? I mean, I have no idea. Um, I hope you know someday. Uh, I hope I, yeah, I hope you all know, you know? But uh, so again, I lose my train of thought a lot. Uh, you know, I should make a print about the train of thought, you know, and it's fucking blowing up. That would be funny. I'm gonna make sure. I remind myself to do that so again i just go in you know usually i do this a lot quicker i'm not talking you know if anybody knows me they know i talk a lot and i kind of bamble i don't like uh i like silence when it comes to just myself when i'm talking to somebody silence uh is awkward and i don't like awkwardness even though i am awkward so uh yeah um so, oh yeah, what I was saying was I wanted to do everything by myself. I wanted to have a home studio. I didn't want to have to worry about paying for a print shop. So this is why I got into doing them all by hand. Um, and now, uh, fuck, like 11 years later, I, oh, fuck, more than that, holy shit. Uh, yeah, like 15 years later, I'm getting up there, you know? Memory starts to go first, and lucky for me, it was going when I was like 18, so that's cool. You know, we just, we, we, we all try our best. We're all doing our best out here, you know? Um, so, I was at a studio, and you know, I'm a simple guy, I don't need much. I don't need a warm studio. Um, I just have these desks I bought, a piece of Plex. That used to be a picture framer. Um, that I put the ink on and everything. And, yeah, I mean, that's about it. I get my, uh, to clean up, I get these, uh, phone book things, they don't phone books much anymore, because the iPhones, I can't say iPhone, it's shit, they're probably going to kick me off, whatever, uh, iPhone, I don't want a sponsorship at all, uh, I, even though I love you, you know what I mean, don't get me wrong, I love looking at those funny TikToks and memes, you know what I mean, they really get my, uh, get my giggle on, you know, it's good to get your giggle on, you want to make sure you laugh while you're doing this, uh, always laugh, um, so, yeah, so I've always had this home studio in my apartment in Hartford, and uh, now I'm blessed enough with a, a, a beautiful garage that I print in, so I can keep all the mess away from the alien, the alien, oh my god, see, there we go, so I keep my mess all the way from my dogs, and Beth as much as I can, and you know, Beth has been the fucking best and let me take over this garage with my weightlifting, and my drums, and my printmaking, so, I think we're ready to see the print. Let's check it out. Alright. Baby! Woo! That is a solid ass motherfucking print. Luna would be fucking proud. She'd be jumping all around, giving me her toys, giving me kisses. You know what? And that's fucking awesome. So, I'm gonna make 14 more. And I'm going to save you from that from right now, um, just so I can get them done quicker. Uh, when I make another video, um, I will probably show my whole process. Um, but this is it. And usually, after we do a good print, this is what we like to do. Um, we like to dance. 
You know what I mean? So like, let's get to it. Thank you for tuning in, and if you've waited this long, uh, bless ya, because that was a lot of nonsense. Love y'all, love pit bulls, love my baby loons. Remember, live like Luna. Again, it didn't stop when I was trying to do that, so let's try it again. Concentrating base. Uh.